Since the horrific chemical attack, which injured 14 people, including two young children, and left a mother with life-changing injuries, a nationwide manhunt for the suspect, Abdul Azedi, has been underway. To date, Azedi, who suffered extensive injuries to the right side of his face, has been sighted across various points in the capital since the attack in Clapham, southwest London, on Wednesday, 31st of January. Immediately after the attack, he was spotted at various points across the underground network, as well as a Tesco in North London, before being caught on CCTV at street level walking a route by the River Thames. As police continue to search for a motive, a sizeable bounty with information leading to his arrest has so far failed to result in his capture. And as days turn to a week, there have been a number of theories that have been suggested as to why he's yet to be caught. Has he succumbed to his injuries? The latest theory concerns the damage sustained to his face during the incident. Without medical attention, it has been suggested that Azedi's injuries may become infected and possibly fatal. A Times report on the effects of chemical burns on the skin reads, Corrosive substances eat away at the skin, causing flesh tissue to melt, which can expose and dissolve the bones below. The severity of the damage depends on the concentration and how quickly it is washed off with water. Inhalation of the vapours can also cause breathing problems. Detective Superintendent Rick Seward, who is leading the manhunt, said, The medical injuries to Azedi appear very significant from imagery that we have recovered to the right side of the face, and through the National Crime Agency, we have received medical interpretation which would indicate that his injuries could be potentially fatal if not treated. Is he dead? The second theory is that the suspect may have taken his own life or died. Commander John Saville stated the force are keeping an open mind after accepting that due to the fact no public sightings of Abdul have occurred in some time, he could have come to serious harm. He said, we've got a number of hypotheses to talk about in police terms. Him having come to some harm is obviously one of them. I think that it's realistic to understand the fact that no one has seen him recently and he's not been spotted by anybody would mean that he has either come to harm and is lying somewhere and yet to be found or someone's looking after him as he's not been outside for some time. Is he being helped? Which leads on to the final theory. Is he being aided by accomplices? In a statement, Commander Saville said, Our teams have been working tirelessly through the night and into today to pinpoint Azedi's latest movements, and we are now able to release the latest images and footage of him. We continue to appeal for information about Azedi's whereabouts. It remains our belief that he is being helped by others, and yesterday we arrested a man for assisting an offender. Our inquiries continue to target more of Azedi's associates. Following this on Monday, the Met announced that a 22-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of helping the suspect in the chemical attack. The man, who has not yet been named, was taken into custody and later released on bail. It remains, however, that since last Wednesday evening, despite a massive manhunt, there have yet to be any further sightings of Abdul Azedi. Whether he's still in the capital, in some capacity or even in the country, remains to be seen.